And I have to say, for the last many decades, Japan has been winning. You do know that. They may be allies, but according to Donald Trump, things aren't right between the U.S. and Japan when it comes to trade. Uh, we want fair and open trade. But right now, our trade with Japan is not fair and it's not open. The U.S. president pointing to, quote, decades of massive trade deficits with Tokyo on Monday, speaking at a joint news conference alongside Japanese leader Shinzo Abe. Reuters Japan bureau chief Billy Mallard is in Tokyo. Now, the way President Trump speaks about trade, it's typically for him a zero-sum game. It's a bilateral game. He equates an American trade deficit with a loss. He often uses those terms. So from his point of view, the goal is not freer trade or removing barriers. The goal is explicitly to reduce Japan's trade surplus with America. And at the same time, he was at pains to talk about what a great relationship Japan and the U.S. have. So. At the same time that he's making what sounds like a, a veiled threat, he seemed to be trying to send the message that we're doing a great job, but we've got to do a lot more. Trump also had praise for Japan for buying U.S. military hardware and hinted that the country might be in the market to make a few more purchases, especially when it comes to dealing with North Korean missiles. Trump repeatedly said that he hopes for a peaceful outcome, and yet Toward the end of his news conference, he raised some eyebrows by saying that Japan will shoot North Korean missiles out of the sky once they buy more American military equipment, which is not exactly the most diplomatic uh, thing to say. And Prime Minister Abe sort of obligingly said, we would shoot them out of the sky uh, if necessary. Tackling Pyongyang's nuclear program is a big priority for Trump on his trip to Asia, and it's sure to be at the forefront of his agenda on Tuesday as well, when the next leg of his visit begins in South Korea.